Hello students, I welcome you all to this video. I am Pratima. In this video, we will learn how to find derivative of functions using logarithm. This is meant for class 12 and we will also solve some NCRT textbook questions based on this concept. First, I think to all my subscribers of this channel who helps it to grow day by day. This channel is for all the students who do not get help at home for learning. So channel is don't fear. I am here with you. So let us start the video or lesson of today. Now what is logarithm? When we write 2 raised to the power 3 is 8, we call it an exponential function. 2 is base, 3 is exponent, and 8 is the result. So as I said, 2 is base, 3 is exponent. Now if I want to write this expression in opposite way, that means I want to write 3 using 2 and 8, how will you write? That time, I'll use logarithm function. Now I'll write logarithm base 2 8 is equal to 3 or logarithm of 8 base 2 is equal to 3. Logarithm of the number with base is exponent. Base remains same only the exponent comes to right side when we use logarithm function. So now if a raised to the power x is y, that means a is base, x is exponent and y is the result. Using logarithm, I will write logarithm of y base a is equal to x. Similarly, if I will write 10 raised to the power x is y, then I will write log y base 10 is equal to x. We call it common logarithm. When we take the logarithm to base 10, it is called common, common logarithm. And we use this for calculation in physics and chemistry using logarithm table you must be using also. Now if e to the power x is y, we write log y base e is equal to x. We call it natural logarithm. And here, where while we are using in calculus, this e may be omitted. It is understood that it is the logarithm of y base e. So sometimes you will find that it is written logarithm y, but the base is not there. So you understand that it is base e, it is hidden. Next, we will go for some rules of logarithm before going to the differentiation. Rule 1 is logarithm of m into n base a is equal to logarithm of m base a plus logarithm of n base a where a is greater than 1 and m and, and n are both real positive. Logarithm is defined for only positive numbers. So m and n will be always positive and a is also greater than 1. Now let us prove this rule taking some exponent. Log m into n base a is equal to log m base a plus log n base a. So I am taking let log m base a is x and log n base a is equal to y. Now if I write in exponential form, it will be a to the power x is m and a to the power y is n. Next, I will multiply m into n. When I will multiply m into n, I will get a to the power x multiply a to the power y. Then a to the power x into a to the power y, you know that exponents are added. So it will be a to the power x plus y. 
Next, I can write a to the power x plus y is equal to m into n. Now, we will take logarithm both the sides. So, in logarithm form, I will get logarithm m into n, the result to base a is equal to log a m a plus log n base a. Because what is what is m log base a is equal to your x and what is log base n this is equal to this is equal to y so this is the result and you remember this result because this we are going to apply in derivative so i have blocked it so that you can remember easily next rule is rule 2 same concept when we are dividing two, two numbers with the same base, their result will be subtracted. Log m by n base a is equal to log m base a minus log n base a. You can take two numbers as I have given the example. You can prove it. Here also the conditions are m and n are both real and positive and a is always greater than 1. We are taking the proof also. So same logic, I took log a to the power m is x, log a to the power n is y, then a to the power x is m, a to the power y is n. So when we divide m by n, we get a to the power x, division a to the power y, a to the power x minus y. In logarithm form, it will be the result. So rule 3, logarithm of m raised to the power k base a is equal to k into logarithm m base a. The k comes to left of the logarithm. Rule 4, logarithm of 1 is any base is equal to 0. Logarithm of a base a, that means logarithm of any number to base same number is always equal to 1. You can verify from the exponent. You have understood. You can write that a to the power 1 is a. So logarithm of a base a is equal to 1. Now logarithm of a raised to the power k base a is equal to k. Logarithm a raised to the power logarithm of a base is k is equal to k. Now, some other common relation in logarithm. Logarithm of b base a can be written as 1 upon logarithm of a base b. You can note down this concept or this formula which will help you to be to do faster. So, similarly, logarithm of b base a can be written as logarithm of b any other base a whole upon logarithm of a base same m now coming to exponential function exponential function is an expression e raised to the power x denoted it is 1 by 0 factorial plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial x cube by 3 factorial so on up to infinity So, it is also denoted by e plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power n. That means n is also infinity. Now, you will be surprised to know that this value, when it will be n is equal to 0, I will get 1 by 0 factorial. When n is 1, I will get 1 by 1 factorial. So, this is the original form of exponential series. And you will find a value which you have read in class 11. It will be, you will simplify, it will be 2.73. But it is not terminating. It is a non-terminating, non-repeating. So we call it a irrational number. And you will surprise to know that up to 100 decimal place. So this is 
a bigger value non repeating so now we are le learning this because exponential and logarithm functions are very much inverse to each other now if we we'll draw the graph this is the green line is your uh, e to the power x and the red li line is your graph denotes your fx to the log x of course base e now if we we'll see fx is equal to x this goes through the origin and you will find the graph is just mirror image of the other the graph of e to the power x is the mirror image of fx equal to log x and fx of log x is graph is mirror image of e to the power x this we generally get the uh, graph when we take inverse function you must have seen in sine x and sine inverse x cos x and cos inverse x here also e to the power x is inverse function of logarithm function base e now how do we use logarithm in differentiation we learned logarithm function which is opposite of exponential function now how to how we are going to use in differentiation now if i write y is equal to log e log x base e we know its derivative we are using it is 1 by x y by dx is equal to 1 by x we have learned it we, have, we are using it now we'll take the help of this formula and now i'll convert this when it will be not base e if it is base 10 or if it base anything else how we'll use the derivative that dy by dx is equal to 1 by x when it is base is e i'll convert this base 10 into base e so what i'll write i'll write y is equal to log x base e over log 10 base e we had written on this formula so basing on this formula i'll convert this then only i can use the derivative that log x base e is equal to 1 by x again i want to take this constant in the numerator so what should i do i'll apply another formula the log base e a is equal to 1 upon log a base b so i'll change the base e to 10 and 10 to e so this will be the simplified form of or ready made form of your y which we can differentiate now log e base 10 will be a constant because it does not contain any x and derivative of x is 1 by x so dy by dx will be the constant will be remained with it and log x base e derivative is 1 by x when we use this logarithm function in differentiation we use logarithm when exponent is a function or a variable for example y is x raised to the power x sin x raised to the power cos x log x raised to the power cos x but we do not use for e to the power x or a to the power x because they have direct formula now y is equal to x to the power x so we are proceeding for the differentiation for the derivative of this function using logarithm you can pause the video you can start copying in your copy so that you will understand better i'm going very slow now taking logarithm both the side with base e and in calculation a calculus you may write e or may not write does not make any difference because it is understood that the base is e so log y is equal to log x to the power x now again i'll apply a formula here a rule so x will be left of log x if you will remember that will be log m power k base a is equal to k comes to the left k log am so x will come 
left side of log x. Next, I will differentiate. When I will differentiate, in right side, I will use the product rule. And in left side, it will be 1 by y dy by dx. So, differentiate. 1 by y dy by dx. We are applying the product rule x into log x derivative is 1 by x plus log x into x derivative is 1. So now I'll shift y to right side. It will become dy by dx is equal to y into x x cancelled here. x x cancelled. I'm getting 1 plus log x and this y will be shifted here. So it will be y into 1 plus dx. Now we will replace y. Replacing y, I will get dy by dx is equal to x to the power x into 1 plus log x. So this is the answer. I will go for another question. y is equal to x raised to the power sin x. So take the logarithm. Taking logarithm both the side with this base e, I'll get log y is equal to log x to the power sin x. Then where will be sin x? Sin x will come left to log. So it will be sin x will come here. So it will be sin x log x. Then I'll differentiate differentiating with respect to x how much it will be 1 by y dy by dx so i'll get product rule here sin x constant logarithm of x is equal to 1 by x and log x constant derivative of sin x is cos x okay so next separate dy by dx dy dx will be y will be shifted to right side so and sin x by x plus log x cos x so replace y now y will be x to the power sin x sin x by x plus log x cos x i hope you understood next is differentiate functions given log x raised to the power cos x you can you can try yourself you can check from time to time whether you have understood or not so y is equal to log x to the power cos x we took log both the sides log y is equal to log log x to the power cos x so cos x will come left side it will become cos x log log x cos x will become left of this log log x so now we'll differentiate differentiating we'll get 1 by y dy by dx here cos x constant log log x derivative plus log log x constant cos x derivative so we'll apply product rule we will apply product rule so you can do yourself you can match the answer with the video i hope you are doing product rule so next by dx it will be y into cos x log x derivative is 1 by x plus log log x into minus sin x so log log x derivative is equal to 1 by x 1 by log x into 1 by x we are using chain rule here What will be dy by dx it will be replace y log x to the power cos x and the expression will be simplified next is different the function given log x to the power x plus x to the power cos log x this is a very common question in the board examination so here First, please note that 
don't take logarithm both the side because we have not read that log m plus n we have read log logarithm of product quotient not sum so we won't take logarithm both the sides so what to do we'll do separately we'll write u is equal to log to the power x and v is equal to x log x to the power x so you will take one variable this another variable is this and y is equal to u plus b y is equal to u plus b then y is equal to u plus b so what is derivative with respect to x so dy by dx is equal to du to dx plus dv to dx so separately we will get the derivative and we will add at the last so let us go for u so u is equal to log x to the power x here we will take log both the side so log u is equal to x log log x then 1 by u du to dx I am differentiating it will be product rule again x derivative of log log x plus log log x into derivative of x so the one function is x one function is log log x then simplify this it will be x into 1 by log x into 1 by x and here it is simple it will be log x plus 1 simplify this it will be 1 by log x plus log log x now this is your 1 by u du to dx next shift u to right side so du by dx will be log x into 1 plus log x log log x by log x so this is the result of the first part now coming to second one second one is v v is x raised to the power log x v x to the power log x taking log both the side you will get log v is equal to log x log x log x outside log x then differentiate 1 by v dv to dx is equal to log x constant derivative of log x plus log x constant derivative of log x or you can make it log x of whole square you can find the derivative also so dv by dx derivative will be here you will again you will apply the product rule log x constant 1 by x log x constant 1 by x so you are getting dv to dx is equal to v into 2 log x by x so this will be x to the power log x by 2 log x by x now this was dv to dx and now dv to dx you add them to find your dy to dx so put one you will get simplified form will be dy by dx log x x to the power minus one you will simplify you may keep the result as it is no need to uh, simplify more this is your du to dx this is your dv to dx add them up next question is differentiate the function given sin x to the power x plus sin inverse root x now sometimes we are tempted to uh, take log both the side or we do u and v and take the log uh, for both but here we don't do because one function is your sine inverse root x which can be differentiated easily using chain root and only sine x to the power x is the exponential function there you will apply the uh, logarithm first we will write let u is equal to sine x to the power x b is equal to sine inverse root by x under root x so y is equal to u plus b next is dy by dx is equal to du to dx plus dv to dx so first we will take u is equal to sin x to the power x take log both the side what you will get 
will get log u is equal to x log sin x. Log u is equal to x log sin x. So find the derivative 1 by u due to dx is equal to x into derivative of log sin x plus log sin x into derivative of x. We are using product rule. So simplify now log sin x derivative is equal to how much 1 by sin x into derivative of sin x that will be cos x and here it is 1. So this will be x cortex plus log sin x. Now what will be dy by dx? dy by dx is equal to u will be replaced sin x raised to the power x x plus cortex into log sin x. So one part is finished. Then we'll go for v is equal to sin inverse root x. So please observe dy by dv by dx is equal to we are applying chain rule. First is 1 upon under root 1 under root whole square that will be 1 minus x then derivative of root x this will be 1 by 2 root x and the simplified is 1 by 2 under root x minus x square. So after getting we will add them du to dx plus dv to dx. So the answer will be dy by dx is equal to sin x to the power x and x cortex plus log sin x and second dv to dx is equal to 1 by 2 under root x minus x square and in the board examination for part 1 du to dx you will be given one and a half marks for dv to dx you will get your one and a half marks and for compiling the result you will get another one mark and it comes as four marks question next it definite the function x to the power sin x plus sin x to the power cos x i hope you have understood you can do yourself you can pause the video and you can compare the result uh, from the screen if still you have doubt you can check so u is equal to x to the power sin x v is equal to sin x to the power cos x and y is equal to u plus v. So I will write dy by dx is equal to du to dx plus dv to dx depreciating whole expression with respect to x. Now u is equal to sin x take log both the sides. What will the answer? Log u is equal to sin x log x. Nice. Then differentiate will get 1 by u du to dx and the right side you will apply your product rule so sin x constant log x ka derivative log x constant sin x ka derivative so get the result it will be sin x into log x 1 by x plus log x into sin x cos x simplify it it will be sin x upon x plus log x cos x in the same way you will go for v v is equal to sin x to the power cos x take log both the log v is equal to cos x log sin x now differentiate 1 by v dv to dx is equal to cos x and here derivative of log sin x then log sin x constant derivative of cos x so then it will be cos x it will be cortex log sin x derivative will be cortex then log sin x into minus sin x. Separate dv to dx. So it will be v into cos x cortex minus sin x log sin x. Sin x to the power cos x. This is v replacing. Now you compile du to dx plus dv to dx. That will be dy to dx. So we did some questions from textbook also so the result is dy by dx is equal to x sin x to the power minus 1 so on 
you will simplify a little bit and this gives you the whole result. So I hope you have gained the confidence of doing this type of question and this logarithm function derivative is in important for CBSE examination. So you can practice textbook questions. Practice makes you perfect. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe the channel.